Hello, um, in uh, this very short YouTube video, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, our project where we'll be collecting weather data uh, using our newly acquired uh, weather stations, which I hope you've had a chance to set up. Uh, this will be a four week long program where uh, you'll be asked to collect weather data um, each day and record that information in a uh, web page, which I believe um, I already gave you directions on how to access. And uh, this can be a kind of a, a tough uh, a tough thing to do, mainly because you need to become very consistent with when you collect the information, when you collect your data, so that you're doing it you know, on a regular basis uh, at the same time. That could be early in the morning or in the evening. Um, so that'll be really the key is getting consistent doing it. It doesn't take a lot of time, but if you let it slide, it's, it's kind of hard to catch up. So here's uh, my weather station, which I've had since last year. Um, it's 953, uh, inside about 72, 51% humidity, relative humidity. Outside a little cooler, 55, relative humidity a little higher, 60 uh, percent, and the pressure about 30.2. Um, so after four weeks, we're going to be doing a couple of things with this data. One is we're going to be comparing the information we collected with uh, long-term averages for approximately the same time. Uh, to see uh, if we can uh, detect any variation as compared to the long-term trends. Uh, excuse me. The other thing we'll be doing. Oh, excuse me. The other thing we'll be doing is to look at um, our data and look at uh, um, weather maps and see if we can make correlations between our weather data and the movement of weather systems through our area. And finally, we'll be looking at the data and comparing it to our different places. We have uh, students from all over the country and, um, and Josh being from Africa, that might add some very interesting uh, comparisons. So we'll be working in eight weeks on all of this. And what I'm hoping is that we'll be building uh, content between now and then to, uh, to really learn about what these, uh, these data mean. I also think this is a really good model for using uh, real data in classrooms, um, I think which is a valuable, uh, potentially valuable um, teaching approach. So I hope this helps. Um, please let me know.